And this is video 10 from the 2021 New Orleans Virtual Cut Glass Convention. I'm Franz Helwig. If there's anything you would like to purchase, please email me at franzwig at cox.net, F-R-A-N-Z-W-I-G at C-O-X dot net. If you know anyone that um, wants to sell a collection or has any rare pieces, I'm always looking to buy. I'm going to start off with this super thick, heavyweight uh, bowl. It's an unknown pattern, very unique. Another one of these mystery pieces. Great hob stars in a diamond, unusual center hob star, very deeply cut, um, studded center hob star. This thing must weigh five pounds, six pounds at least. It's nine inches in diameter, four and a quarter inches tall, and it's a nice buy at 375. Uh, next to it is a trellis wine stem. It's uh, also known as bird in a cage. Everyone always wants to attribute it to Sinclair, but I uh, don't know any documentation that does. But the channel cutting is very fine, stars cut on it, solid fluted and notched handle, I'm sorry, stem, and then a star cut base. That is the last one. I think I had 30 of these at one time. It's four and a half, four and a quarter inches tall, two and five eighths diameter, and it's 115. Here's an only child. It's a uh, chrysanthemum pattern champagne goblet. Hawks 1889 pattern, very early. Cane, cross hatching, hob stars, hob star cut base, faceted knob with fluting, and it is 110. Here's a real rarity, very desirable pattern, Savona by Libby. A real masterpiece, had to be a William Anderson conception, clusters of clear button hob stars forming a five point star, which is an Anderson trait. Um, fan arrays that are reminiscent of panel by Hawks, and then feathered teardrops that are in copper wheel engraved with fruits. Beautiful, beautiful piece, a must have for any serious collection. And that one is 4,500. And it's shown exactly in the Libby catalog on page 159. And it's nine inches in diameter and a little bit deeper at four inches tall. But that's a must-have piece for a serious collection. Another 1-1 one -one pattern, Russian and Pillar, 9-inch uh, bowl. Very thick, heavy blank, split point, double mitered point, hop star in the center. Great clear tusks, nice deep Russian, sharp Russian cutting. So this is another masterpiece. Um, it is $21.50, and that's a nice buy for that caliber piece. If you want to do a serious addition of color to a collection, we have five matching engraved stems. Cut to clear is apricot, cranberry to clear, lime green to clear, uh, an olive green to clear, and an amber to clear. The lot of five are $14.95. They're very nicely done. Um, not sure who the maker is. It could be European. It could even be Dorflinger. That peach color is typical of Dorflinger. But either way, it's a nice price for five colored stems. Here's a rarity out of my personal collection. I've owned this for over 20 years. It's an unusual shaped Brunswick pattern decanter by Hawks. Has a faceted neck ring, pattern cut stopper, Deep cut hollows, great blank, really nice piece. It's, uh, I think, 14 inches tall or 13 inches, probably 14. And it is 2750. That's probably the only one I've ever seen. Another rarity is this Hawks Louis the 14th decanter. I've seen stemware in this, but never the decanter. It's 12 inches tall, has a pattern cut stopper. A uh, little fleur de lis cut in the engraved in the pattern, star base, an, a rare item in cut glass, five ninety five. It's another good uh, Anderson pattern. It's Des Moines. 
It is a big hefty nine inch bowl, has the accentuated point hob stars, flashed vesicas, clear button cane, all the bells and whistles of Anderson. Nice example of a fairly scarce pattern, and it is $5.95. Probably the nicest loving cup I've ever had. Uh, it's three handles. The handles are all perfectly annealed. The handles are triple diamond cut. There's a ring on the stem, Hobstar base, and it's a Florence Hobstar or flashed Hobstar design. That's it's just a wonderful piece, and it's pretty good size too. I want to say it's uh, ten inches tall and probably six inches diameter, but that's a nice one, best quality. Trilobe Wedgemere bowl. That's an Anderson thing with the trilobes. Uh, another one-one pattern, very desirable by Libby. It has tusks, great hob stars. Cross-hatched panels, it's just got everything going for it. Great quality blank, too. It's 10 inches wide and long. Pattern is shown on page 9 of the green 1896 catalog. And that's a nice buy at $21.95 for a fancy 1-1 pattern. Here's a great example of Dorflinger. It's an extra deep salad bowl. It's uh, probably about 5.5 inches deep. It's 9.5 inches diameter. It's what I call a crimped bowl. The rim or the body undulates in and out, and it's very deeply cut on an excellent quality Dorflinger blank, central hob star. It's just an extra fine example of Dorflinger glass, $7.95. Here's a beautiful rose diamond piece. It's similar to, um, oh, I'm not going to think of the pattern now, but it's um, Clark and Merrigan both did these. But this one is uh, nine inches in diameter. It's one one quality as far as blank and cutting. Um, think Marin is the most likely maker. And fourteen ninety five for a rose diamond piece is a good buy. In the ad books, they show this decanter as being by Tuthill. It's got a Sterling stopper. It's got a little off color blank, which is also late Tuthill. Um, Nice copper wheel engraving. I don't know what the flower is. That's about 15 inches tall. The stopper's really oversized and it balances in the shape. Um, it's 14 and three quarter inches tall and the decanter is 395. Here's a cute example of a smaller punch bowl. This will fit inside of a cabinet. It's the star pattern by Fry. It's two part, 12 inches in diameter. Excellent quality. The pattern is pictured in the Fry com composite catalog of five catalogs, and the punch bowl is $14.95. Here's a triple miter Kuhnor ship's decanter. It's probably Mount Washington. Uh, beautiful blank, superb cutting, deep studded hop stars, and that is $12.50. There's a nice nine inch bowl. It's in Samantha by William Anderson. That's another very scarce pattern. Probably a Libby Blank, clear button hob stars, deep cutting, really well done piece. And again, if you want something that you won't see in other collections, that's that's a good addition. And it is $8.95. Another Tut Hill piece is this five part pitcher set. It's kind of a cider pitcher shape. It's in Primrose. It's signed and has four tumblers, nice copper wheel engraving, sort of a scalloped or rounded uh, rim on the top. And the set is only $4.25. I must have bought that one right. This is a really neat vase. It's Cypress by Clark. It's very unusual, really well cut, excellent quality. <clears throat> Excuse me. Has a Hobstar base. And you can see the nice cutting. It's exactly pictured in the 1905 catalog on page 47. And it's a good size. It's 16 inches tall and a 9 inch diameter top. And it is $14.95. Here's a trophy piece. Great big 14 and a half inch diameter flower center. 
It's cut by Meriden. Uh, don't have a pattern name, but it's shown in an advertisement. Big, big guy. Beautiful starred diamond cutting. Large hot stars here. Step cut neck and top, and then a magnificent, I believe that hop star is 60 points. It, it's incredible. Let me see if I can turn it over. It's just ridiculous. That's a beautiful piece. And that is 5,800. These are very difficult to come by. This is the first one I've had in probably five or six years. Here's the King of Kings, Rex pattern, 10 inch plate. These are so desirable. They're very hard to come across. It's only the second one I've had in 25 years. 1-1 one, one pattern, of course. The prize winning pattern for the 1915 World's Fair in San Francisco. And it's shown on page 169 of the Rarities book. It is 7,800. It's heavy too. It's really a nice impressive blank. And then here's another piece that you've probably never seen. An ice cream set in the Seneca pattern by Empire. It's probably their best pattern. Cutting, I mean, the camera probably can't even pick up the detail. There's so much detail on this set. Heavy seven inch plates. There are six, seven inch plates with it. Let's see if I can get you some. Yeah, then you kind of see the detail. But it just all blends together from a distance because it's so brilliant, so fiery, so incredibly cut. And the blanks are just phenomenal. And that's really a good buy at $24.95 for all the pieces. The seven inch plates typically sell for three to four hundred dollars each. Here's a really nice nine inch bowl. It's cut in a circular hob star pattern with very deeply cut harbored in between. They're starred and cross hatched buttons. Nice quality, brilliant piece. 24 point hob stars on this in the circles. And that bowl is $2.95. There's another one that's uh, fairly scarce. It's Kensington by Hawks. This is a 10 inch diameter salad bowl, heavy blank. Uh, it's 10 and a half inches actually. And again, it's signed. And the bowl is $8.95. There's another little Hawks piece. It's a solid color green, emerald green wine, Hawk wine, it's fluted, tall stem, starburst base, it's signed. Seven inches tall and it's 175. And always popular, the Hope cut glass string holders with Gorham sterling tops. You, string would pull through the little hole in the top and it's monogrammed. These are very, very popular. Most advanced collections have one and it is 475. And it is circa 1899. Thank you. And that concludes our 10th video. And again, my name is Franz Helwig. If there's anything you would like, email me, F-R-A-N-Z-W-I-G at cox.net. Thank you.